you know, because you gotta, you got to be humble when you write poetry. This, this poem is called Poetic Dialogues That May Offend But Would Be Otherwise Be Praised If I Were Known To Be Dead. <laughs> I'm so ahead of my time, my parents haven't met yet. Lamont Bigel Coleman, 1974-1999. May you rest in peace. When we were younger, my unfortunate friend burned down the roof of his building, and that very same day, I burned the roof of my mouth. When I told him about the irony involved in both situations, my friend told me that I should not compare apples to oranges. <laughs> Why not? They are both fruit, I replied. <laughs> my friend is no longer with us. He is now with them. But another friend once told me that she was a vegetarian, but on rare occasions she ate fish, which means that she was actually a pescatarian. I did not point this out to her, mainly because I am a sensible man, <laughs> and minimally because I did not want my beautiful pescatarian friend mad at me just in case she ever decided to have sex with me again. <laughs> 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 My, my unfortunate friend had also told me that there are many things we take for granted. One example is technology. You recently flew back from Berlin. If airplanes did not exist, you would have had to endure a long, arduous, and potentially dangerous journey through the North Atlantic Ocean. I, respond, I responded by saying that if airplanes did not exist, then I would fly by helicopter. <laughs> My friend then mentioned that flying by helicopter would be too expensive. You would need to become an engineer to be able to afford renting a helicopter. I told him that I am indeed in luck because I happen to be a poetry engineer. <laughs> <laughs>